Let's uh, join to this uh, conversation now. Mu'ad Khatib, a social and political activist and the son of uh, Riot Salah's deputy in the Islamic movement, Kamal Khatib. Good evening. Thank you very much for joining me. Thank you. So uh, uh, let's, uh, uh, Mu'ad, uh, try, uh, just tell me, what is your first reaction and uh, your statement about uh, today getting out of the law? Um, well, first of all, please allow me to emphasize two very important facts. And the first is that, um, uh, you know, the, the, who's being targeted here is not only the Islamic movement, but the whole uh, Arab community uh, in Israel, uh, which seeks to uh, uh, acquire and obtain and get uh, its uh, uh, deservable rights. And above them, you know, uh, the rights in, in worship and uh, the freedom of entering Al-Aqsa Mosque. The, which has been uh, uh, severely hindered uh, by, the, by the Israeli uh, government. Uh, the second fact is that, um, uh, you know, uh, the, the reason, the actual reason behind this uh, banning order is the, pa the part that, that the Islamic government has been playing uh, in raising awareness towards uh, Al-Aqsa Mosque and Jerusalem uh, as a whole. And uh, um, uh, the reality that the Israeli government, the uh, extremist right-wing uh, Israeli government led by Netanyahu, which is trying to impose a new reality on the ground by allowing, not only allowing settlers to provoke and incite violence inside Al-Aqsa Mosque, but also by preventing Muslims and uh, uh, annexing their right of worship inside the mosque, which is the second holiest mosque uh, in, the, in the world. So, uh, Muad, I want to ask you uh, something. Um, we are talking, you are talking about Al-Aqsa Mosque, you are talking about this uh, move being against the entire Arab community in Israel, which I have to tell you that I disagree about, but we should not agree about each and everything. But I'm asking you, today the, uh, the, I heard one of your comments, and one of the comments coming from the Islamic movement was uh, that the, even the Shin Bet is uh, saying that, uh, that that was said by your officials or your somebody from your from the leadership of the Islamic movement that even the Shin Bet is saying that taking the Islamic movement out uh, and uh, preventing them from acting this is this will lead the Islamic movement to be even more violent and my question is are you violent well, um, facts on the ground testify completely against this. Uh, the Islamic movement has been always playing uh, by the Israeli rules, and uh, there has been no, not even a single, one single incident of violence uh, 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 by the Islamic movement. And let me please uh, uh, refer to you the, the first point that you have raised, and uh, that it, uh, you claim that it's not against the whole Arab community when uh, this ban order also includes institutions like Hira, which is mainly and only for teaching the Quran, when it also includes uh, Iqra, which is only an institution for developing the Arab education in the Arab community. It gives uh, scholarships to students. It helps them in, uh, achieve better. It helps them, uh, you know, uh, uh, um, do well in their university as well as school studies. What what does it have to do with the political so, uh, political situation and and the political uh, approach or attitudes of the Islamic, of the Islamic movement? Is, when you also target schools, schools here in Kufur Kanna are also targeted. Please let me complete that just this yes, sentence. Yes, yes, of course. When I teach at the Iqra Psychometry, which just, just just one short sentence, please. When I teach at the Psychometry uh, 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 College of Iqra, that means when I go to teach English to my students, it means I'm doing something against the law. This is insane. This is what the Israeli government is doing. I'm uh, asking you one of the, and again, uh, it's another uh, question. One of the claims is that uh, the Islamic movement, the northern uh, branch of the Islamic movement, is inciting against Israel, is inciting against the people of Israel, is inciting against Jewish people. And I want your reaction about the recent uh, wave of attacks here in Israel, about people going out and stabbing uh, innocent yes. people, which I know by Islam is forbidden. By Islam, you are not going out and stabbing and killing and murdering innocent people. So I would like to hear your reaction about that. Well, absolutely, absolutely. But you mustn't forget that 
what actually motivated these attacks are Netanyahu's policy and uh, uh, his orders to his police uh, of changing the rules of engagement when he allowed them to shoot on sight anyone who is only suspected. And please, let's emphasize here on suspected, not found guilty of throwing stone or, or attempting to stab someone. If they suspect that he's going to stab someone, they are allowed to shoot and kill him on sight without trial. Is this the democracy of Israel? And you mustn't also forget that until this day, not even a single piece of evidence was brought against the Islamic movement that proves that it is involved in one way or another in inciting against Jews or against or against Israel as in general. Or otherwise, do you believe that in Israel, really, if they incite against Jews, until now, Sheikh Rad and Sheikh Kemal would be still free? Would they go free? Absolutely I, uh, I ask, I ask myself the same. I just ask this uh, question. Cohen, please, allow me, please just allow me to, to. I'm allowing you. I'm allowing you. We're yeah. having a conversation. You I just asked Mustafa uh, the same question. Yes. Yeah. Uh, continue. Yes. You wanted to continue the sentence. Uh, yeah. So I, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. So I was I, I was saying that if indeed there's a moment involved in such violent or, inci or incitement or provocation to violence, then how is it possible that they are still walking free? Yoram Cohen, uh, you know, the chairman of Shabak, said that there is no evidence, there is no real uh, uh, concrete proof that the Islamic movement is involved in any terror or inciting so, uh, 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 Muad, uh, to terror. Uh, Muad, is this not proof enough for you? Uh, uh, I, I am surprised that you are using the Shin Bet to uh, just justify or to, um, you know, protect uh, your your claims. This is a little bit weird, but yet I'm not talking. No, it's not. No, no, no. That's not what I meant. It's a, it's a little bit no. weird, you know. The Sorry, it's not Islamic what I meant. movement I'm just is that taking, uh, you know, uh, the the defense from uh, the Sheen Bet is a little bit weird for me. So I am asking no, 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 again. No, 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 that's I, just not a second. What I, I want to ask a question. I want to ask yeah. a question. I asked at the beginning, and I'm asking again. Yes. Are you inciting against killing innocent people? Are you inciting because people are just not being Absolutely shooting? Not. So I, I, I'm Absolutely. asking. How come, how come, what is happening, you didn't, or as the Islamic movement, the northern, uh, the northern uh, uh, branch, didn't go out against young people, boys and girls. We're talking about boys, 16, 15, 13 year old boys going and stabbing innocent people. How come you, as a father or and as a son, you, uh, as a son, but, I'm but you asking you, how but, can you see that? That's it. This is the only thing that I'm asking. How can you, as a Muslim, not uh, go okay. out and tell this small child, don't do that? <clears throat> Okay, please pay attention first that you are an interviewer, you are now taking parts, and you must be I'm not be, taking parts, uh, I'm just asking a question. Now, uh, 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 no, I'm, you are. No, no, no you are. I'm just but, asking okay, a question. You, because you are, you are forgetting the first, okay, because you are forgetting the first part of the equation, which is who started the killing and the shooting of young people, innocent people, and Hadil Hashlamon is the first example in Khalil, who was killed only because she uh, uh, refused to, to unveil her face. She was killed and murdered. Why, why aren't you taking this into, into, into consideration? Because I, mean, I will tell you, so let me, let me, usually, of violence. usually, and when you usually, sorry, uh, these sorry, videos, when you no, kill usually, someone, usually, when just, you a kill someone just a second, just a second, just a second, I will let you finish. I swear I will let you finish, but usually these videos, you or didn't when, allow me to finish. I, I will oh, let you finish, ahead. I will let you finish, but, uh, you Usually when people are okay. seeing these videos or the viewers are seeing this uh, right now interview, they are seeing only this part. But believe me, just five minutes ago, I went out against the organization Lehava. I asked the same questions. I'm asking about people who are burning other people, who are bur burning Muhammad Abu Khadir, who are burning the, the Wabshi family. I'm not ignoring that, but I'm also asking about what is happening inside the Muslim, the Arab community. If we are allowing our kids to go out and stab innocent people this is the only thing that I'm asking you uh, like I am attacking the other side totally like I'm going that. out against the other side so I'm not coming and paying my only yeah. my personal view I am just saying and asking the same questions that I'm asking to the Jewish side right right okay so again 
Um, when you talk about violence, you mustn't forget or ignore who started that violence. When you kill people without any excuse, without ju justification, unlawfully, you would expect their action to be the same. I mean, when someone witnesses his mother or, or his sister or his cousin killed, what do you expect him to do? I'm not, again, justifying th this. I'm just explaining why it happens. No one wants violence. We only wanted, and the Islamic movement only wants that Muslims and Arabs have the right of worship inside Al-Aqsa Mosque. Nothing more. I mean, and you can see all its activities are all uh, 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 aim at uh, intensifying or bolstering the Arab presence in Al-Aqsa Mosque. That's it. That's it. But the, the Netanyahu government doesn't want that. Those extremist uh, settlers don't want that. And when, you, when they go inside Al-Aqsa against the Muslims and against their will and against the sovereignty of Muslims on Al-Aqsa Mosque, which is basically a mosque, you know, it's a mosque. It's not, it's not a synagogue with all due respect to, to everyone. It's yes. a mosque. And when you prevent Muslims from entering the, the mosque and beat them and tear yes. gas them and shoot them and kill some of them because they insist on the right of worship, what do you expect them to do? Yeah, and uh, you said it best. It's a place of worship. It's, a, it's the place of God and no one should be killed or fired for the place of God. Muad Khatib, thank you. Absolutely. No one likes violence, but it's happening because of the policy of Netanyahu and his government, yeah. unfortunately. That's Mu the reality. Muad Khatib, as you see, and uh, I let uh, people finish and I let them express uh, their uh, views. And uh, thank you very much uh, for this uh, talk with us. Thank you.